Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh god, that's not my intro. Hey everyone, it's Blue. Um, as you can probably tell, it's been about mm, two and a half weeks or so since the last time I did a voiceover, so I'm kind of trying to get back into the groove of it, of it, uh, of it all. Anyway, this video is the first video in a series that I want to start where I do like little semi-realistic portraits of my OCs and then in the video I take that time to talk about them so this video the first video is Karen which is my most recent OC technically well my most recent official OC I still have like I, I'm constantly designing characters you guys it's, it's, it's real bad anyway Karen is part of a story that I don't want to reveal at all yet because I haven't written it so, um, but she is in the same story. Okay, a couple of my characters that I have right now are in stories. Uh, they're all very, very, very basic. They're all, they all need some sort of development to be uh, put into their character as a person. Because, you know, they look like people that could be characters, but they don't have any personality traits. Um, well, they have very basic personality traits. They don't really have much of a backstory. So I'm going to try and work through Karen for this video. That's another reason I wanted to do these videos, is to kind of help me work through how I want these characters to be, like who I want them to be, how I want them to act, stuff like that. So Karen is typically very calm, but um, she does have a little bit of anxiety. Sometimes she gets sensory overload, and that's what I wanted to convey in this piece. So as you can see here, she's kind of screaming, crying. Uh, well, she's not crying yet. Dang, I think I spoiled the video. Anyway, um, when this when this picture is done, she's like screaming and crying and very sad, and uh, but at the same time angry. So she gets sensory overload relatively often. And if you don't know what sensory overload is, it's basically um, if there's something going on with you, uh, I usually get it when I'm really hungry. If there's something going on with you, if there's some kind of imbalance in your body, you get really very incredibly irritated at anything, like the smallest thing. Like, I'll be, if I'm really hungry and I'm sitting on my phone, like at the table or whatever, waiting for my mom to cook something. And somebody comes over to talk to me, like, I'll blow up at them. Like, why are you talking to me? What are you doing? Get out of my face. Like, stop talking to me. And it's like, because you're just so ramped up from being whatever it was that made you like that in the first place. It happens to me a lot because I have a tendency to forget to eat. My mom thinks it's because I'm starving myself. I don't know why she would think that. I mean, look at me. Anyway, um, Karen gets sensory uh, overload a lot. But instead of blowing up at people and getting mad at them and getting in their face, she has a tendency to just kind of scream and cry. Um, another thing about Karen is that she has blonde hair and this daisy kind of flower on the, what is this, the right side of her head? Her right, not our right. It would be our left. But it's her right. Um, she's a vampire. Uh, she She's like one of the first kind of vampires to f find out that you could drink non-human blood and still be relatively okay you know like not die because uh she doesn't one she doesn't like the taste of human blood and two she was a turned vampire and the thought of like killing people to further her own survival just didn't appeal to her at all like uh yeah she's a pretty kind and calm person most of the time except for when she's um, having an episode of sorts or if she's having an anxiety attack uh, she's she's kind of a big cry baby if that makes any sense uh, she cries a lot <laughs> she, she she cries a whole lot um, she let's see let's talk about the way she interacts with other characters her relationship 
I want to keep her relationship to other characters a secret because I feel like uh, it might be a big plot point. I don't know. I haven't really written the story yet, so I don't want to give anything away because everything is still being worked out. But basically, Taryn is a character who comes in toward the beginning of the story, probably within the first few chapters, if there are chapters, I don't know. It might be a really short story. It's probably going to be a webcomic of some sort, but I don't know. Everything is really up in the air right now because I'm very, I'm very indecisive. And when I say I want to do something, it really takes me a long time to even get started on it. Like, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I haven't uploaded a real video. Well, like yesterday, the day before I was, um, the time that I'm recording this voiceover, um, was the first real video I had uploaded in about two weeks. Um, and right now I'm really kind of discouraged on videos because, <sighs> okay, I, I know this is like really off topic, but I just want to get through it really quick. I spent literally 10 minutes on that little meme video that I did a couple, like, I don't know, like a week ago now from the time that I'm recording this voiceover. It'll probably be like, I don't know, maybe a week and a half from the time that I uploaded this. Um, it was, it's titled the Nut Shack theme, but everything, every Nut Shack is replaced with Ethan Bradbury or something like that. And it has, it is the most viewed video on my channel and it's only been up for a week. And the most viewed video on my channel that I had before that, it took at least two months for me to get to that point. The point that it, that video was before it. Sky, I don't know what it is about that video that makes people want to watch it. If it's just because the meme is kind of popular right now or whatever. But it's really been discouraging me from making these videos because I put so much effort into these. And it takes me hours to record. It takes me like 30 minutes to edit. It takes me like 20 minutes to figure out what I want to say in my voiceover. And 10 minutes to actually record a voiceover. But it took me 10 literal minutes to make that video, like from downloading the actual theme to figuring out what I wanted to put in it to actually editing it. It all took t about 10 minutes and that video has more views than any other video on my channel and that's very discouraging. And I know that I've been, I've been getting actual subscribers off that video and it's really, it's really frustrating because they're not here for what I made this channel for and I guess the problem I shouldn't have put that video on this channel I guess is probably the moral of that story but anyway I've been off topic for two minutes so let's get back into gear because we only have about a minute left um I think I've told about all I can really tell about Karen she's um, she's not very impulsive as a person, but her personality is kind of impulsive, if that makes sense. Like, she will flip on the drop of a dime. Like, um, she's very protective of her friends and family. She's not afraid to take risks, but she prefers not to. Um, I don't know. She and her girlfriend have a very odd relationship. It's not exactly healthy. Uh, because she's very she's very dependent on her girlfriend for a lot of things but her girlfriend is very kind of blase about their relationship like she doesn't take it very seriously and Karen is very invested into her and like really loves her and stuff like that it's kind of bad but uh that's also a plot point in the story but yeah um I can't really think of anything else so uh and we're coming up on the end of the video, so um, thank you to all of you for watching. If you like this video, please like it, and if you like any of my other videos, subscribe. I make new videos as often as I possibly can. Um, the, I probably should have waited a little bit before I did that part. But um, yes, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.